So we talked about making integrating and differentiating circuits with op amps, and we saw that we could actually make very good circuits. And if, if we think back to passive circuits, those integrating and differentiating were limits of high pass and low pass filters, circuits that let through either a low frequent, high frequency or a low frequency. And being able to mimic the high pass and low pass filter would also be a useful thing. And to do that, we have to tweak those circuits a little bit that we had before. So now we have the input resistance here. We have a capacitor and resistor in parallel. And I'm going to just define omega RC to be 1 over RF CF here. So characteristic frequency is controlled by that feedback mechanism. And we know the gain is simply going to be minus Z feedback over Z input. So we need to get Z feedback. And that is this resistor and capacitor in parallel. So that's going to be 1 over 1 over R plus J omega C. which is going to be, that's an R feedback and a C feedback. R feedback over 1 plus J omega RF CF. And we can write it in terms of that characteristic frequency. It's RF times 1 over 1 plus J omega over omega RC. So there's the feedback. And now the gain is simply going to be the ratio of those, so it's going to be minus RF over RN times 1 over 1 plus J omega over omega RC. And let's look at that. That factor there is either the high, is, is what we had for either a high pass or a low pass filter. Let's look at it for a second. If omega gets very small, then that piece goes to zero and we just get one over one. So it's letting through low frequencies. If omega gets very large, that piece dominates, it falls off like one over omega. So this is a low pass filter. And there's an interesting thing here. It's multiplied by the ratio of the two resistors. So instead of necessarily having a factor of 1 like we did in the passive circuits, we can get a factor that's bigger than 1. So we can actually have a low pass or a high pass filter that has a non-zero gain. And then it falls, it cuts off high frequencies. Other, and so it behaves exactly like it did before, same characteristic frequency and same, same behavior. It's just that we can start with a gain, gain for omega much less than omega RC. It's going to be minus RF over RI. So we can start with something that's bigger than 1. We can make that 10 or 100 or whatever we want. And as because this falls off like frequency, then let's just sort of sketch what these look like here on a Bode plot. 20 dB log of gain. I'm going to put that. Frequency and I want to put the open loop gain first. So that's limiting the op amp. We can never get bigger than that. Low pass filter looks similar. It has some constant. And then at some point, it turns over and falls off at 20 dB per decade. So there is omega RC. So there's our 20 dB log 10 of RF over RN. It goes out and falls off. If we try to make omega RC too big, then we could 
try to put Omega RC out here. Then it's going to try to go out. And instead of being able to go and fall off, it's going to have to start falling off with the open loop gain. It'll be limited. So you try to make Omega RC too big, you'll be limited by the open loop gain of the op amp. But for most reasonable things, the behavior will be fine, and you'll get a very nice low-pass filter. OK. There's low-pass filter. Obviously, the high-pass filter would be a useful thing to do as well. And there we have a slightly different circuit. We have a RN resistor and capacitor in series going in, plus, minus. feedback resistor RF, V out, V in, omega RC is 1 over RN, CN. So we define it to be input side here. And now we're going to have the gain is going to be minus RF over ZN. So we need to calculate the input impedance. So the gain will be the feedback resistor over the input impedance. And the input impedance, Zn, is going to be R plus 1 over J omega C. And those are both input. And that can be Rn times 1 plus 1 over J omega Ri Ci. And I can now write this as input resistance 1 minus J omega RC over omega. So bring the J up, it flips sign. The 1 over omega RICI is omega RC, so I get a gain that looks like, or an impedance that looks like this. The gain is now minus RF over RN over 1 minus J omega RC over omega. And this is the factor that we had for a high pass filter. As omega gets very large, this piece goes to zero, and we simply get a factor of one there. So high frequencies, it lets the signal through. Low frequencies, this piece dominates, and we get something that's omega over omega RC, so it rises. This the high pass filter is definitely going to be limited by the open loop gain, 20 dB log gain, frequency open loop gain, high pass filter comes up at 20 dB per, per decade and then rolls over and then flattens out. And once it hits the open loop gain, it has to be, it has to follow that down. So here is omega RC here, where we go from the rising into the pass mode, but then the pass mode is cut off by the op amp at higher frequencies. So if we want this to work, we need to make sure that where this intersects the open loop gain is well above any frequency we're worried about. So there is a high pass filter with op amps. And again, as with the low pass filter, there is a factor RF over RI, which is not necessarily one. So this line here does not have to be at zero. It can be above zero. It can be below zero. We can set it where we want by appropriately choosing those resistors.